Hi everyone, Andy here, and in this video, we're gonna compare Zoho CRM and HubSpot CRM. These are two of the best CRMs out there, so we will compare them in four different categories to see which one is the right for you and your business. All right, let's get started. First, let's compare the user interface and if the app is easy to use. HubSpot CRM has a really nice user interface, very minimalistic and very well organized. On the navigation bar, you will see all the different categories available, like contact, where you will find all your contacts, companies, and calls logs. All the modules are organized in these different categories. You can search for records using the magnifier icon, and next to it, you have the marketplace and the settings. The actions that the buttons perform are clear, and they are positioned where they are supposed to be. When you open the record, you will see three panels. The left one shows all the info and quick buttons, the middle one is for activities, notes, emails, and tasks. And the panel on the right shows related records like deals, companies, and tickets. The settings page is straightforward, making it fairly simple to find what you're looking for. On the other hand, Zoho CRM doesn't look as modern as HubSpot. There are a lot of other modules available besides the basics. You also have a home screen that you can customize or use the classic view. The search bar is hidden behind this magnifier icon, and when you start typing, the results start showing up. The deals module looks similar to the one in HubSpot, but the records page has a different layout. You can scroll down to find more information. But this can be changed with a feature called Canva that we will go over later in the video. Also, the record page is super customizable, allowing you to show or hide sections, modify the field layout, add modules, and more. You can also see the timeline here. When you open the settings for the first time, you might feel a little lost. There are so many options here. You can always use the search bar to find what you're looking for, but if you're not sure what you're searching for, sometimes it is difficult to navigate. I think the two apps have a good design, but HubSpot interface looks more polished and the different elements, records, and settings are better organized. Zoho CRM has more modules and settings, making it more difficult to organize, but still the user interface could be updated to a more modern design. Now let's go over the top features of each app. Zoho CRM comes with a lot of good features out of the box, but you will need time to set them up. You can customize the layouts and fields, as well as having different layouts that can be assigned to different roles. Before I mentioned Canvas, which is a new feature that lets you design and customize what the modules look like. The automations and workflows are advanced, allowing you to send emails, update fields, create tasks, create new records, trigger webhooks, and trigger custom functions, which expands your possibilities. You can also set up blueprints to make sure that your sales reps follow the sales process, as well as create approval processes, set up assignment rules, marketing attributions, and run schedules. There is even a sandbox, so you can test your changes before deploying them to your live CRM. HubSpot CRM also has a lot of useful features. You can install a chat on your website and receive the incoming chat messages in the CRM. Automations are available as well, so you can create tasks or send email notifications based on actions. One feature that I like is the tickets module where you can centralize all your clients' tickets and respond to them one by one. You can also send documents for electronic signature from HubSpot and process payments. So in this category, I think Soho CRM is slightly better because it has a lot of more features and some of them, like the automations, are more advanced than in HubSpot. Also, some of the features that come in HubSpot are available as a separate app in the Zoho ecosystem. So if you're looking for that functionality, you can get Zoho One, which includes all the Zoho apps, and get the extra features like sending proposals or adding a chat to your website. Before we move on to the next category, if you're enjoying the video so far, please click the like button. It helps the channel a lot and I would really appreciate it. The next category we're going to compare is integrations. If you watched any of my previous videos, you might have heard me say that the CRM is the core of your business. So it is really important that it works with other apps that you're already using. HubSpot App Marketplace is where you can find all the integrations that will connect other apps with HubSpot. There are a lot of options here, including all major office suites like Google Workspaces, as well as Zoom, Slack, ServeMonkey, Shopify, Asana, and a lot more. If you search for the integrations built by HubSpot, you can see there are over 140 integrations, which indicates that HubSpot is on top of building new integrations. Also, there are other HubSpot apps like marketing or operations that integrate seamlessly with the CRM. Zoho CRM also has a marketplace where all the integrations and extensions are. 
You can sync your Google or Microsoft email calendar in context, as well as connect it with other Zoho apps like Zoho Projects, Survey, Desk, Analytics, Webinar, Sign, Campaigns, and Contracts. Zoho CRM also integrates with most of the voice over IP phone systems like Ring Central. I think HubSpot has a more robust marketplace, better organized and with more apps than the Zoho marketplace. So make sure to review the integrations that you need before choosing one of these apps. But if you already use other Zoho products, Zoho CRM will integrate better with them. In this last section, we're going to review pricing. Both apps have several plans available that vary in price and features, including a basic free plan. But if you want to get the features I mentioned in this video, the enterprise plan of Zoho CRM costs $40 per user per month, and the professional plan of HubSpot CRM costs $100 per user per month, with a minimum of five users. So this means that HubSpot is two times more expensive than Zoho. Pricing wise, you will get way more for your money if you choose Zoho CRM, but on the other side, HubSpot comes with some extra features that Zoho CRM doesn't have, as well as premium phone support in case you need help. So I recommend Zoho CRM if you need a high level of customization and you have the time and resources to set up the customizations and automations you need. The support team is okay, but most of the time you will have to do the work by yourself. Also, if you're on a budget, Zoho is the best option. And keep in mind that Zoho CRM is included in the Zoho One suite with other 40 apps to run your business, like a project manager, a financial software, cloud storage, and more. So if you're interested, I will leave a link in the description. I recommend HubSpot CRM if you're looking for a CRM that works really well and it is easy to set up. The design is very nice and minimalist, and it also includes several features that go beyond a CRM like a ticket system. If you need to integrate the CRM with other apps that you use, chances are that HubSpot is the best fit. The only con is the price. HubSpot is one of the most expensive CRMs out there, but you're paying for really good customer support and the extra features I mentioned. All right, guys, that's it for this video. In the description right below the like button, I'm gonna leave a few links, including a full review of HubSpot CRM and a full review of Soho CRM. So if you want to learn more about these apps, check out those videos. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.